Hello everybody, welcome back. And in today's hour 102 video, we're going to continue about what we learned last week. So we remember about how both Cain and Abel were learned about God from Adam and Eve due to the parenting they give to him, both of them. And then they were told to give an offering. And both of both of them were told to. But in Cain's case, God did not insist in Cain and his offering for one reason which we did not understood. So we were trying to investigate this point and why. So we were looking in the verses and which we're going to carry on today, the reason why. And first we're going to find out though why God didn't accept his offering. Since if we find that, we will be able to easily find why he didn't like accept Cain himself. So in Genesis 3rd chapter, we know that Eve was deceived, got deceived by the Satan and Adam did not, it says in this verse. And in 1st Timothy, no, sorry, in Genesis 3rd chapter, actually, it just says that Eve was the one who got deceived and why. But in 1st Timothy 2nd chapter 14th verse, it says that Adam does not get deceived here. And later he did and is not disobeyed and later dis justifies his actions. But the point we're trying to understand here is why God doesn't accept Cain's act sacrifice. So we, it all starts from the point where after um, Eve had committed the sin, which is written in the Bible, God asks Adam where he is. And Adam replies, I am... I am afraid but and I am naked. So yes, this is the first consequence of sin. So as... Like it's some sort of an alternative that's coursing through his body. It's like the human mindset is going into him as he's now doing different things to cover himself up. He's ashamed of what he, to show himself to God like this. So he wraps himself around with some fig, like tree leaves. So these fig to cover his body for the time being. But this is only a temporary thing since these are just leaves. So they'll easily get rotten up and they'll be kind of like how to say um they'll just how to say it they'll break apart and then yeah and this is kind of like they need to understand that they've done is like it's a big thing that they've done wrong but what happens is then god gives um adam a garment and we can read in the verse a verse where it talks about where God gives this garment. Since Adam tries to cover himself up, so does Eve with the leaves. But of course, these won't last for long due to like other climate change and things like this. The heat, it would not work due to disobedience of what happened. This would happen. But if we think about it, God after this is then giving them a garment. Why though is what we're going to look about now. So we'll read the verse. Genesis 3rd chapter, 21st verse. Okay, here we go. It says, Unto Adam also and to his wife dith, did the Lord make coats of skin and clothed them. Yes. So it's not an alternative dress or garment, sorry, but this is the symbolism to save the humankind. So it's a skin, animal skin cloth. Yeah, and this is this is only the perfect person to provide a creation. The correct, perfect thing to survive is the creator. So there's no other alternative way for him to survive from this loss, just because he had a temporary method which would not work, but end up in more disaster. But God gives this dress or garment to which was an animal sacrificed to cover his nakedness, to save the humankind. So this is a vital point, why the sacrifice is necessary, though, to save his creation. We will continue this next week, though. So we need to understand the main point, that God gives them a garment made of animal skin, which is sacrificed to save the humankind, since the temporary leaf fig leaves they used to cover themselves were not works, and since sooner or later they'll just decay and we know this point and god gives them this garment for the humankind to survive and adam feels that he needs to cover himself for the main point since adam had committed the sin so his mind turns into the human side mindset mind so he feels shame in himself that he doesn't want to face god and he's afraid of god now because before this he did not because he was in the God's mindset, he believed in God and he trusted God. And Adam, remember, we know, he did do, like, how to put it, eat the apple with the full knowledge about what would happen as well. And, 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 but it says though, 
Adam is not deceived. We need to understand. So, but God gives them both a garment. We know this. So in the scripture of um, 1 Timothy 2nd chapter 14th verse, we looked then that Adam is not deceived. He himself listened to the word of Eve though. He did listen to the word of Eve with the full knowledge of, but it says in the Bible, Adam is not deceived. And we know that what happens as it, like his mindset changes, how he feels, and then what God does to help him and Eve. So this is a vital point why the sacrifice though, which we just said is necessary for to save his creation. We'll see this next week. See you then. Bye.